Good morning world, I'm Harrison Lane, the fuck up who does fuck ups. Today we're going to look at the worst Christmas movie ever made. No, that movie is for my next Jump Cut review. I'm looking at the worst Christmas movie ever made. Okay, something bad, but a classic bad. Come on, I told you about the movie at the end of my last review. It's Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Yes, in 1964, a Christmas movie combined Christmas and science fiction together. And the result was... Among other expressions. After this movie was released, it is considered one of the worst movies of all time, and also the worst Christmas movie of all time. Okay, now it's the second worst. Now, seeing as this movie came out at a time when special effects were shoddy, I'm gonna have a little leniency in this and take it easy on this movie. Ha, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna tear this motherfucker apart! So this is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. So the movie starts off with two children watching TV, dressed like aliens. Wait, what? They are aliens? They watch as reporters at the North Pole. This is Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Ooh, it's cold up here. <laughs> oh boy, it's so cold and windy out here that I don't even feel the wind at all. It's almost like if the wind's not blowing anything at all. So the reporter goes in somewhere and, wait a minute, is this Santa's workshop? Huh, you'd think they'd make sure that Santa Claus's workshop is a little bit more of a secret. Santa's a pretty busy man, but I'm sure he'd like to say a few words to you kids. Hello, Santa. In fact, if a reporter is there with Santa, why don't more and more people show up? Isn't the North Pole supposed to be a secret? Why am I asking these questions? You can't go to the North Pole and expect Santa to be there! Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? No, sir. We're going out the good old-fashioned way with my reindeer. Prancer and Dancer and Dunder and Blitzen and Vixen and Nixon. Uh, Nixon, oh, what I get? Oh, I always con it. I get those names mixed up, but the kids know their names. Well, wait a minute. He doesn't even know the name of his reindeer? Well, I think we all know who he really is. A phony! This guy's a great big phony! Hi, everybody! This guy's a great big phony! <laughs> Come along, Mr. Anderson. Whoa. So Santa shows the reporter what is being worked on. Now here... Here is the latest toy rocket. It runs on real rocket fuel. Really? Ah, uh, Mr. Claus is putting rocket fuel in actual toys. Uh, this, this isn't gonna go well, is it? Back with the aliens, the father of the alien is trying to find another alien. You know, for aliens, they sure look like people in stupid green pod costumes. Drop her. Drop her, wake up! Wake up! I think he's enjoying that a little too much. Droppo, you are the laziest man on Mars. Why are you sleeping during working hours? Because he's the laziest man on Mars? I wasn't sleeping, Chief. It's just that I haven't been able to sleep these last few nights. I forgot how. So I was just practicing. <laughs> I forgot to use my brain cells to be intelligent, so I'm practicing. Oh! The children haven't been eating well. No appetite at all. It's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Here on Earth, we have no problem with watching ridiculous programs. It keeps our minds intact. Almost like a real, live little girl. That she is, sir. That she is. All she needs is tender, loving care. Grandma, what is a doll? I don't know, Grandma. Hey, what does good acting mean? I don't know either. Boma, Gimma. I told you not to watch those silly Earth programs. Now go to sleep. So the mother comes in. I bought some new food pills. I hope the children will eat these. We have hamburger, buttered asparagus, mashed potatoes, and a special treat for them. Oh boy, what's this one? Those are suicide pills. <laughs> oh. So his wife tells him to go to some ancient something to be told what to do. Why couldn't this person be leader if he has all the answers? So he and other aliens go to the future Star Trek set and look for the ancient one.
All right, all right, calm down, calm down. You called me, Kima. We need your advice, Chochim. Something is wrong with our children. Ah, uh, yes. It is early December on Earth. Close to the time of the Christmas. Okay, this is boring me. I'll just tell you the gist of it. The old man tells them that on Earth there's a holiday called Christmas, and the children of the world await for Santa in this present. And because the children of Mars don't really have a childhood, too soon, they don't really know who Santa Claus is. So, to fix up their curiosity, what does the old man suggest? We need a Santa Claus on Mars. He says that Mars needs a Santa Claus. So what's the logical conclusion that these aliens stand by? Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. So they ride their steadily flowing bullet with fire coming out of it to the planet Earth. Wait a minute. I see him. I see Santa Claus. I see him too. He's standing on the corner ringing a bell. No, he's not. He's standing near the entrance of a large building next to a large black kettle. He's standing on the corner, Kima. He's... Wait a minute. I see another one. You know what I just realized? If people around the world and space know where Santa Claus is and know he's real, why are there others posing as him? Prepare to land. We'll set down in that field near the lake. I don't know how they can see a small lake when they're clearly still in space. They believe the object has either disintegrated in space, or it may be a spaceship from some other planet which has the ability to nullify our radar beams. Because of the ominous situation, the President has ordered the Strategic Air Command into action. Glad to see that even back then, American policies on what they don't know is just to overreact. So while the spaceship lands, two kids are listening to the news report about the aliens. One of them played by Pyasadora. Who? I don't know, apparently she's famous. I don't believe there are any Martians. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian woke right up behind you? I scream. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. Yes, I'm trying to sleep outside, even though our homes are much safer. Do you mind? Who, who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Mars. What are those funny things sticking out of your head? Well, as much of these questions are weak, at least they're better than... Hey, Molly, what you doing? So the aliens asked the kids of where Santa Claus is. Strange, the Mars children were watching him, so why couldn't they just ask them or watch the fucking TV? They have to ask two children on Earth, kidnap them, and then find Santa Claus? These are the dumbest space aliens ever! While you were still learning how to spell your name! And yet, I stand corrected. Leave them alone, Volda. What? And leave them here to inform the authorities? Strange, the authorities already know you guys are on Earth. This morning, two children disappeared mysteriously from the vicinity of Welch Lake. Wait, wait a minute, wait! So the aliens take away the children so they will be less discreet from the world, and yet the world knows about it as soon as they take away the children? What? How the fuck did Earth know? What was the point of taking the children if the world was somehow going to find about it anyways? So the children are left in the care of the Don Knotts knockoff alien. Yes. Because when you want your prized possession taken care of, you hire the laziest person you can find. It's like babies being cared for by Garfield. No good can come out of it. What's this, Drapo? Oh, that's the elevator signal. That light starts flashing when somebody's coming up from the navigation deck. Oh, oh, oh. So the Nazi alien hides the children in the machine just when his fellow aliens arrive. Drapo, Sir, you stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now or ever. If we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. No one on Earth will ever know that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Martians. How rich you are, especially since immediately after you kidnap the children, the news reports knew that you kidnapped the children. So really, if you kidnap Santa Claus, you're completely hosed. Why you write it? Why don't you kidnap the goddamn president? I'm sure they'd get away with it. It's as easy as taking candy from children, or in this case, it's just taking children. Come on. Wait, Betty. Why did you do that? If this ship ever leaves Earth, I'll have the Hollywood Space Force after them. 
You know you could just jam the signal, right? So the aliens and the children land in the North Pole, which looks like the Mars set, doesn't it? And they try to find St. Nick. They find out that the children have escaped and they're on their way to Santa to warn them. I'm cold, and I'm tired, and it's beginning to snow. Please, Betty, try. We've got to warn Santa. We can't stop now. They might catch us. Where is Santa? I don't know. Betty, look! It's Bulldog! He's the mean one! The one who doesn't like us! Oh my god, these children are terrible! I wouldn't mind so much except they act like they literally have people showing off their lines off camera. So just when the mean alien's about to catch them, a polar bear scares them off and goes after the children as well. Uh-oh. Wow, the world's fakest polar bear costume ever! But to this movie's credit, it's better than the special effects in Jack Frost. So the kids get out of their cave just when they see a man dressed as a robot. Sorry? It's supposed to be a robot? Okay. And instead of just running away, they just stand there and get caught. RUN, YOU IDIOTS! Now destroy them! Crush them! Crush them, Tog! Do as I say! Hold on! I knew you'd try something like this! I set Torg's control so he will obey only me. Release him, Torg! Take them back to the ship, lock them up, and rejoin us. You won't get away with this, you... you Martian! Oh, you watch your mouth! This is a G-rated movie, man! Martian! Any further, it will be a PG territory! So the aliens find Santa's workshop and give him a nice welcome. In the nicest way that a New Jersey person can ask. Come in here. No one's allowed. Whee! Where did you come from? You're the biggest toy I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe I cannot tell the difference between a toy and a robot who tried to kill one of my elves. Santa's treating him like a toy. Get him, Tor. Grab him. He's become a toy. Rigna, we'll have to get Santa ourselves. Come on, Voldar. <laughs> What was that? Did this suddenly turn into the Batman TV show? Come now, Robin. We must protect the citizens from evil. So the aliens barge in since the robot is a toy now. And they use a freeze gun on the yells, even though you can see them moving a little bit. We don't want to hurt you, Santa Claus, so come along quietly. It's not like we could just freeze you and drag you back to our ship. Oh, I never saw such lazy people standing around like statues. There's work to be done. Let's get to it. Believe me, I had nothing whatsoever to do about this. You know, my dear, I can't recall a time when you were so silent. My wife finally shut the fuck up! CELEBRATION! You know what? I would love to have one of those. The faster I get one, the faster I can get rid of a certain group of people. Santa is taken away by the aliens while the newspapers report on it. Yes, you aliens were very discreet on capturing the man of Christmas. So even though Santa has been kidnapped, he still manages to make the aliens laugh. Why, I've only been with him for five minutes, and he has me laughing just like an earthling. <laughs> Soft and round, and, and you put it on a stick, and, and you toast it in a fire, and it's green. I don't know, what? A Martian <laughs> I've seen suicides more funny than that. And it was a very foggy Christmas Eve. Well, I could barely make out this chimney in the fog. But I found it all right, and I started to crawl in. Well, I tell you, it was the biggest chimney I'd ever been in. And then suddenly, suddenly I realized it wasn't a chimney at all. It was the smokestack of the Queen Elizabeth. Um, excuse me, but what are with these jokes? I'm sure back then they weren't funny, and they're worse right now. In fact, when did this movie become some kind of comedy? If this is a comedy and a well-done one, then St. Anger and Lulu must be the best albums Metallica has ever worked on. 
Gee, Sant, it's all our fault. We told them where to find you. Oh, Boulder Dash in a fiddle dee dee, Philly boy. Everybody knows where Santa lives. Except for the aliens who asked them where you live and kidnapped all three of you. Well, you'll have a wonderful dinner tonight. Oh, there's soup and beef stew and chocolate ice cream. Gee, Mars must be a terrible place to live. Some chocolate ice cream. Pills for dinner. You know, I know two people who want pills for dinner. Meanwhile, the aliens try to find out what's wrong with their ship. Is it possible Earth has a secret device that can penetrate our radar shield? They have a secret device, and his name is Billy Foster. I warned you that these Earthlings are dangerous. They'll destroy us if we allow them. Well, I won't allow them. I think we underestimate the resourcefulness of these Earth people. Yes, the fact that they pulled out three wires that we can easily put back together is simply mind-boggling. So the main alien tricks the Earthlings into the airlock. Sure! This is where you come when you're ready to go out in space. It's airtight. You put on your spacesuit and go out through that door. When you come back, the door closes and they pump air back into the room through there. When it reaches the pressure of the rest of the ship, you can take your space suit off. Nice read, kid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about all the time, do you? So the evil alien locks them in the room, and several seconds later they realize that the door is locked. Santa, he locked us in! Oh, I don't think so. He probably just stepped off for a moment. Oh, I like this part. Hmm, go over here and look at the crew, no. Look at the clock to waste more time, no. Okay, I'll go back and bang on the door. Just as the leader finds out what he did, Santa and the kids get out of the room. You're all right. I, I thought you would... You well, would. when Boldar accidentally left us in the airlock, and then came up here and accidentally threw the door switch... And then later I will accidentally put you on my naughty list. We knew we had to get out of there in a hurry, or that would be the end of us. And, uh, accidentally, of course. <laughs> so you crawled out through the air duct. The air duct? But the air duct is just a little, and, and you're so big. Are you calling me fat? Why, you're talking to Santa Claus, son. Yeah. <laughs> but how? Well, well, now, you wouldn't want me to tell my secret, would you? <laughs> oh, poor man. He's fainted just like someone who's seen a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I've never heard such forced laughter since. <laughs> but to be fair... Fuck it. So they all go to Mars and- Wow, they aren't even trying, are they? That's not the planet Mars, that's a dodgeball painted to look like Mars! It would have been a better effect to just have a picture of the planet! So they land on Mars, even though the background doesn't move at all. They realize that the bad alien is gone, and Santa and the kids have to be protected so they can send them to the kids of Mars. The only two kids of Mars I've seen, I just noticed. I guess the appearance of Santa Claus gives laughing gas. So after their introduction, Santa and the children make toys for Mars. Hey, Lady Moma made it for me. Can I try it on Santa? <laughs> Don't be silly, Droppo. This would never fit you. Why, well, you have to fatten up first. I don't know. The Santa Claus movies I've seen say otherwise. Well, hello, Santa. How are you feeling today? Tired? No, no, I'm not tired. But my finger is. Good night, everybody. Well, I think I'll go in and put my finger to bed. You are aware there are children watching. So, the Earth children are a bit depressed because they missed their home planet. I guess kidnapping them wasn't such a good idea, was it? So later that night, the bad aliens try to stop Christmas from happening by stopping the machines from making toys. In other words, stealing the toys away. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
So the Don Knotts alien, dressed up like Santa Claus, comes in and the bad aliens capture him, even though there is an obvious helmet on his head exactly like theirs. So everyone realizes that the Don Knotts alien and Santa's extra suit is missing and they quickly realize the connection between them. They go into work and see that the machine isn't working right. Stop Somebody switched all the wiring. Droppo's gone, your suit is missing, and now this machine's been sabotaged. So broken machine plus missing Don Knotts alien plus missing suit equals sabotage! They quickly realize that the bad aliens are behind this and the leader confronts them. So the leader locks himself with the bad aliens even though he could just block the door and help with everything else. Look at this. I just love it when the skis just happen to hit the gun out of his hand. Worst fight scene ever. The fake Santa escapes as the real Santa fixes the controls, and one of the kids overhears their plans to kidnap the real Santa, so they devise a plan. Oh, we meet again, eh? I don't know how you escape Shim, but you won't escape me. You're through. Goldar, well, uh, why don't you uh, relax? Yes, come here and smoke a joint with me. I mean, a pipe with me. Everything will be fine. <laughs> what the hell is this? The toys are defeating him? What the fuck? He's getting beat up by toys! This isn't small soldiers, it's fucking Santa Claus conquers the Martians! I expect some violence to happen, nuts! This? What the hell? Did the movie just jump cut so a ball can end up in someone's mouth? I mean, it makes no s- Oh, boy, Chief. Am I glad to see you. All right, kids, you can stop now. I said cease fire! What the hell was that? Is the camera beating him up or something? So the bad aliens have been thoroughly defeated. The aliens send the humans back to Earth. Wait a minute, wasn't there a third bad alien? And the Don Nuts alien comes out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Goodbye, dear friends. Away! Away! And they fly home, and that's the end of the movie. So this was Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Jesus Christ Bananas. I can see why this is one of the worst movies of all time. The acting is horrible, the effects are cheap, the plot holes are littered throughout the movie, and even though it's called Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, there is not really any conquering done. And even though this movie is horrible, that it, it's so interesting to watch something that is so camp, so cheap, and so laughable that it's a must-see for anyone who likes movies that are so unbelievably horrible that you can't help but enjoy. I'm Harrison Lane. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers! Merry fucking Christmas!